Well guys, how's it going today? Well, we got a fun adventure today. It's a little bit different than what I normally do, uh, but throughout the summer, honestly, there's gonna be way more gun content. I know if you head over to Nico's channel, and I'll put the link in the description, there's lots of awesome, awesome gun stuff here. So, today, we are having a friendly little competition. Um, basically, well, Nico's dubbed it, two guns, one bow. <laughs> so we do have uh, some different gear, a little bit different setup, so it's gonna be really, really interesting. I feel I got some advantage in certain sections where Nico's gonna have some advantage in other sections. So it's gonna be really interesting pitting us together and seeing uh, what we can do. Uh, so I'm just gonna run through Nico's setup here. Uh, he's gonna show you guys what he, what he has. He has actually some pretty cool gear. You're gonna see it's pretty darn different than what I got. So what do you got here, Nico? All right, guys, well, for station one, I'm gonna be using my uh, SKS over here. Um, now it's got the Tapco tactical stock on it and also I've got two detachable magazines for it. You guys will see when we show you the stations why I need to use two magazines. I'm going to have to do a reload because there's 10 targets and we're pinned to five round magazines here in Canada for the uh, SKS mag. So that's one. And the second one here is my good old Remington 700 PCR guys this is my pretty much my second baby <laughs> I love this gun it's I've got the Magpul uh, bipod on there and for the scope I'm using a Vortex Diamondback 2 tactical um, it's 6224 by 50 so I love this scope I love this gun um, and by the way you guys I haven't told anybody in eight minutes yet but it's a 6.5 Creedmoor so <laughs> <laughs> so that <laughs> That's for station two. And for station three, I'm gonna be using my brand new, I'm a brand new archer. I literally just picked this bow up a couple months ago. I've only shot it a handful of times, um, but I do have a couple videos in my channel of me shooting it and sighting, in, sighting it in for about 20 meters, which is the longest we're gonna be shooting today anyways. But it's the PSE Stinger Max compound bow. And I've just got some basic sights on it. And uh, what do you call it? The arrow rest here i forgot what it's called look at that yeah. that thing's fancy compared to what i got <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's, that's my gear for today and uh, it's going to be facing off against mark's gear here he'll show you in a second so i will put down in the description the links to his bow video his rifle videos to his sks videos like i said there's so much cool content on there and i'm so happy that i found somebody to have a little bit of fun with some guns here so here, we'll, we'll run through my, my setup right now. So everybody that's been following my channel definitely knows this gun. This is my grandpa's uh, Game Master Model 760 Remington. Uh, it's chambered in 30 odd six. And uh, last year I put this uh, Monarch Nikon, uh, Monarch 3 Nikon uh, scope and what a difference maker. Pump action, uh, four in the clip, one in the chamber solid solid hunting rifle i think nico does have the advantage on the long range here that that gun is just absolutely dialed and bipods i mean here's my bipod i got a backpack so i mean yeah this this is the kind of gear i'm running all right the next next little piece of history something that's really actually close to me this is my grandpa's uh kui model 60. Uh, he's had this thing since he was 12. it's canadian made rifle now, luckily with me, I don't have to do a reload. This little baby holds 10, 10 in the little um, cylinder magazine at the bottom. So, but I do have bolt action, whereas Nico has semi-automatic. So I think on round one, we might be pretty even. Guess we're gonna see. Now, Nico might have the advantage long range, but I believe I got the advantage short range with the bow. Uh, I know how fast I can put off three arrows. I'm pretty consistent, I uh, got no sights. I don't have a fancy arrow rest. I just made my little PCV arrow rest and this little bit of rabbit fur right here. Um, I'm also new to archery. I used to shoot when I was back, at, back in high school, but I haven't touched a bow in 20 years. I've been shooting this for about two and a half weeks. So we're both new archers, two completely different styles. So I guess we're gonna see, uh, see how it goes really <laughs> <laughs> all right but uh basically like i said we've got three stations first station there's 10 coke bottles set up 
It's gonna be five shots, run to the next one, five shots. Then we're gonna run quickly back. We're gonna grab our rifles. We got a 100 meter shot. And then we got a gong set up at 200. Um, then we put that down. We run, grab our bows, do the three shots. We got a, we got a 10, we got a 15, we got a 20 meter bow shot. Then we run back to the finish line. And uh, we definitely, we've decided that you do get some seconds taken off for certain targets that you hit. So we haven't worked out the, ironed out the details yet. But I mean, this is gonna be fun. I mean, if you don't think this is fun, then I don't know, I guess you're crazy. So down in the comments below, I want you guys to say who you who do you think is gonna win this run? Um, like I said, I think it's gonna be pretty close. Obviously, I wanna win it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I said, just put, put it down in the comments who you think is gonna win. If you wanna see Nico's run, you're just gonna have to head over to his channel because I'm not gonna be posting it. And uh, yeah, should be fun. So yeah, so there's only one way for us to determine how we're gonna start this. Good old game of rock, paper, scissors. One game? One game, that's it. One single it. game, ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Boom! All right, so, so you Nico, first you're up or me? first, buddy. Me? All right, let's go, guys. And action. I'll count you down, hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll count you down. All right, three, two, one, go. Shot. Nice. meters yeah gong Hell. I guess you can't tell it. I can't find the damn thing. Well, I'm gonna take two more shots and if I don't get it, then break off. Two more shots if I miss. Too bad. Oh, I found it. <sighs> nope. <sighs> no. <sighs> He's going straight for the bow. Oh, 
Good. Oh, Run. And time. Oh my God. Woo. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so hard oh, shooting man. when you're out of breath. The running, it adds a <laughs> totally new dimension to it, man. All right. That's crazy. So how was that? Good. I mean, the only downfall I couldn't tell if we are hitting the gong or not. Yeah, sorry guys, I couldn't find the gong there uh, so. until the, uh, the very end. But I don't think, I didn't hear it I'm anyway, so I don't think there was any hit. Uh, so I'll take the time penalty on that one. Yeah. So we've decided on the time penalty for the gong. All right. Fortunately, I just hit the outside of the target there. Uh, I, uh... Completely missed this one, and I uh, just hit the outside on that one. Okay. So yeah, I definitely hit left. Yeah, I'm definitely hitting left. So I'm definitely going to set it up. I'm definitely hitting left because I'll give you a look over there when I was uh, practicing. I thought I got it back in the, in the range, but I was definitely hitting a little left. So. And then the addition of running and being fat definitely uh, adds to it. So. <laughs> well, guys, that's the end of our day. I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this. Like I said, had a lot of fun. Me and Nico are definitely going to be doing that a lot more. Uh, that's my first time actually having a little bit of fun like that with it with the rifles. Uh, I've gone target practice with my grandfather and my stepdad. And, basically you just set up take five six shots and go gone out 22 shot quite a bit but you know it's a real eye-opener on uh, how much you're shooting even with the archery the archery is actually the one that surprised me the most like at home I'm consistently hitting 10 yards 15 yards no problem 20 yards it's a little iffy uh, like I said I'm I'm in it's instinctive shooting with a traditional style bow uh, so I'm still trying to figure out the ins and outs. Like I said, I've only got about two and a half weeks on the bow. Um, but yeah, I know that the whole like breathing heavy and coming to shoot and trying to calm yourself down. That's uh, that's an eye opener situation. You know, I, I definitely wasn't uh, expecting it to be that hard. Uh, I definitely need to get my long range set up a little bit more stable. Uh, I shot after the competition i shot with nico's gun and like i was ringing that gong no problem but man that thing is like i said to nico that's that's cheating <laughs> that's cheating <laughs> well if you really want to try to hit the gong with my setup <laughs> but no like that was a lot of fun honestly you're looking back at the footage i don't know if we're really going to give uh take away time for accuracy we were pretty even most places realistically nico I, i'm Guaranteed Nico won that one. Uh, like I said, he nailed he nailed that long range shot. So uh, that was definitely the difference maker. The we were pretty even on the bottles. I got one more bottle on top of him. The archery, I mean, we all sucked on that. So that uh, that was kind of a break even point. And really, the big the the big difference maker was that long range shot. And that uh, that Remington just set up just so nice for that. All I know is if I ever need to uh, take somebody out from long range, I know I know who's gun to borrow. <laughs> but no, all seriousness, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna do more FBI of this. Open up. What? FBI, open up. <laughs> but no, we're gonna be doing a lot more of this. It's yeah, like I said, that was a blast. Probably, what did you say, best range day yet? Best, best range? range day yeah. so far, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was that, solid. That was a good solid day. Like, we've so. been out here for, what time? It's almost 5 o'clock now, yeah. I think. Yeah, I've been out here all day. I mean, I went for a little solo mission beforehand to find some fat wood and uh, find some hardwood for my own wooden bow. But, uh, yeah, guys, if you guys like this kind of content, put down in the comments what you guys thought of this. Like I said, this is not my normal content. I like doing this stuff, so I'm probably going to add it to my channel. But if you guys really like it, just let me know. You know, give me a big thumbs up and put it down in the comment that you guys like seeing this stuff. Other than that, I guess we'll just catch you guys on the next one.